guys, it's Brian here. Um, I use YouTube a lot for help with lots of stuff. And so anytime I'm in my shop, I'm trying to be better about recording some things that maybe will help one of you, one of your projects. So I am, uh, I'm here in my garage and currently working on my 2012 Volkswagen CC. It's got the two liter TSI engine, uh, very similar engine in the Jetta's, um, or excuse me, not the Jetta's, the Passat's, um, and then some of the Golf GTI's. Uh, so the two liter turbo, um, I was actually getting an overheat issue. Uh, I was in the shop a couple times. I just had back surgery, so I'm limited on what I can do. But um, originally they thought there was just air in the system. They purged it. I drove again, and all of a sudden the temp just started spiking. I've been, been getting the code P2181, which is a 2181 or 2180. Anyways, it's the one for coolant system performance. I changed the water pump four months ago, and I don't think that I changed out the thermostat. Again, things that you should just do when you're in there doing it, because I had all of the intake, um, you know, everything apart um, on the intake to be able to get into the water pump because it's buried way underneath the intake. So then I'm like, oh, I really don't want to take the intake off again and go through all of that monkey business. So um, I was almost certain it was a thermostat. So the second time it overheated, stopped, I was on the side of the road, temps going way up, coolant starting to boil out of the uh, reservoir. I go and feel the radiator ice cold, feel the, the line um, just below the thermostat ice cold. So I'm like, no, it's the thermostat. The thermostat's not opening. Uh, the quote that the shop gave me the last time was, they said it was a head gasket and they were gonna charge me $1,500 to put a new head gasket on there. But before I did that, I thought, you know what? Even though I'm kind of limited in what I can do, I wanted to spend some time and try and diagnose it a little bit better because I just didn't think that it was a head gasket. Um, car's got about 160,000 miles on it, uh, but it's been really, really well maintained. I've had really no other issues. Um, and so I just wanna show you just a couple of little tricks that I did uh, to be able to get the thermostat out um, without having to fully remove the water pump and without having to remove your intake. Um, it does require removing some components and basically having to loosen up the water pump to pull it away from the engine just enough because there's one bolt on the thermostat that you can't take off, or at least I couldn't, um, without pulling the thermostat or without pulling the water pump out just a little bit, which gave me just enough clearance to get that bolt out and then drop the thermostat housing out of the bottom of the, out of the uh, bottom of the water pump. So I'll just show you a couple quick uh, video shots underneath of kind of what it looks like. A couple quick things, I guess, up here on top um, that we had to remove. Um, your intake, uh, your air box, all this stuff here needs to be taken out, which gives you all this access down in this area here. Um, I did remove the um, throttle body. There's four, basically four screws and then an electrical connector for the throttle body that would be sitting right here. That You have to take that off in order to get access to a couple of the bolts on the water pump. Uh, which is way back in here underneath. Uh, there's a electrical harnesses that are held on here with these two screws. I just take these screws out so that I could move this harness around when I'm trying to get into the water pump. Um, I first checked to see if maybe the belt had gone and I was able to pull the screws off of the belt cover here and I was able to run it and verify that the belt was okay. Cause I thought, wow, maybe the belt broke on the water pump and that's why I'm having issues with overheating. But um, that part ended up being okay. I guess I'm just gonna show you here. So you can't remove it because of this. You have to remove this coolant line to remove it, but you can pull it up enough. Sorry about that. To pull the video or to pull the uh, housing back so that you can inspect the belt, which is right there and it was belt is fine. So the water pump's turning the way it's supposed to, so it wasn't that. Um, so I removed the um, air, uh, the uh, cooler air plenum that comes from the intercooler up to here, so that gives you access all into here. Um, and then there's two, this is your the top of the radiator, and then there's another hose which is removed that goes down to um, the bottom of the radiator which I don't know if you can see, yeah, right there. Right there is the end. So that hose goes under, and that's actually the hose that contains the, the uh, um, thermostat. So this is the thermostat housing, and it's sitting like this under the engine. So 
this screw here is really accessible. You can tell by the way that this is tapered like that. It's right up against the, uh, I don't remember if it's the oil pan or the transmission. And so getting to this bolt is really tight. So by loosening all this bolts on the water pump, not removing them, just maybe like this much, I was able to pull the water pump out just enough to be able to get a uh, wobble head Allen. Let's see if I have it here. I think it was a, uh, uh, I don't want to tell you what size it is because I'm going to mess it up. But a wobble Allen head will fit in there. And then I was able to back that out and then pull the whole water pump assembly out. This is the OEM water pump. Um, I tested it in water. It doesn't move. It doesn't do anything. It's basically, it's seized up. So it's kind of confirming um, what is going on with my water pump. Uh, I was going to do a VW um, one, but some of the forms I read that these... Um, pro ones these plus ones are actually even better um, and this one here there's movement on this rod is actually what expands and pushes this down to open up the line to allow the coolant into the radiator so i know that it's moving and that's working and it also comes with another o-ring um so i think that's the main stuff on the top that you that i had to take off to get access let's take a look down underneath Okay, someday I hope to get a lift so I'm not having to lay on the floor uh, every time I need to do a project underneath a car, but just to give you some orientation, here's the front of the car, and then here is going in, and then kind of looking straight up. And so just to help you kind of get oriented here a little bit, so here's the AC unit. Um, this is the front of the engine, transmission is over here. Uh, we're looking up here, so this is our water pump. Um, is here. This is the top of the, comes off of the, or goes uh, into the top of the radiator. This is the return line, comes from the bottom of the radiator. And then that is where um, the thermostat is located. So with the water pump, by loosening the bolts, it's hard to see, but that is all the extra space that I needed. I just needed that extra I'm sorry, <laughs> that extra just little bit to be able to get that bolt out. And once I was able to get enough movement out um, on the water pump with that, then I was able to drop it down and pull the thermostat out. All right, so I uh, got the new thermostat in and I just wanted to show you. Um, so that is the wobble Allen head. Um, and in order to get it into that bolt, like I said, I needed to have just enough movement. Like that's really all it took. And then I was able to get that wobble Allen head in there and then that bolt unscrewed and then that um, unscrewed and then we're able to take it off. So I can get a flashlight here. Let's see a little better. So, so the new thermostats seated in there correctly. I was able to get both of those tight. And so now we'll just go and tighten up the water pump.